This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Stephen Jarvis and Friends podcast. Today, we are talking about the Barry Sanders era and also the history of the Detroit Lions from 1989 to 1998. Also, before we start, please go check out the podcast of the month on the Deluxe Edition Network, which are Barrel Age Flicks and History I'd Like to Blank. Um, both great create content creators. Um, great people. Also, you won't you won't disagree with the why they're the podcast of the month because they're they're that great. Also, a bunch of other great people on the Deluxe Edition Network, which you can find them on the deluxeeditionnetwork.com or anywhere you watch podcasts. Plus, if you're looking for a new award show where you can pick the categories, go to the deluxeeditionnetwork.com and click on the Dens. You can choose any category and vote for any category you want, including podcast of the year, which if you'd like to, you could always vote for Stephen Jarvis and Friends podcast or not. The choice is yours. So today we're talking about the Barry Sanders era in the Detroit Lions history. With the third overall pick, draft pick in the 1989 NFL draft, the Lions selected another Heisman Trophy winning running back Barry Sanders from Oklahoma State. He played on offense with another rookie at quarterback, Rodney Pete. While the Lions showed improvement, they still finished a distant third in the NFC Central with a 7-9 and nine record. However, the winds of change were blowing in Motown because during his rookie season, Sanders rushed for 1,470 yards on 280 carries and finished second in rushing just 10 yards behind the leader, Christian Okoye. He had an opportunity to win the rushing title by going back late in the final game of the season. However, with the Lions leading by a score of 31-24 with less than a minute to go, he took a pass, which would be a trademark of his career. Sanders earned the Offensive Rookie of the Year award following the season. With such a young core, including the newest offensive picks, and with previous picks on defense, the Lions acquired eventual Pro Bowlers Benny Blades and Chris Spielman in 1988, along with Jerry Ball in 1987. Things were once again looking up for the Lions. However, they took a step back when they finished 6-10 in the 1990 season. Sanders won the first of his four NFL rushing titles that season with 1,304 yards, beating out Buffalo Bills running back Thurman Thomas by seven yards. In 1991, the Lions started the season by being shut out on national television 45 to nothing by the Washington Redskins. However, they rebounded, winning their next five games. They went 12 and 4 for the season and won their first division title in eight years, capping the regular season with a win over the defending AFC champion Bills. They were inspired late in the season by the loss of guard Mike. Udily, who suffered, who sustained a career ending injury against the Los Angeles Rams on November 17, 1991. As Udily was carried off the field, he flashed a thumbs up to his teammates and the Silver Dome crowd. It became a rallying symbol for the remainder of the season. In the divisional round, the Lions dismantled the Dallas Cowboys 38 6 for the franchise's first playoff win since 1957. It has been their only playoff win since. However, in the NFC Championship game, they were once again completely overpowered by the Redskins, this time by a score of 41-10. In the following season, the Lions were unable to sustain their success as they finished in last place in the NFC Central with a disappointing 5-11 record. They would rebound in 1993 to secure the division title with a 10-6 record. In the wildcard round, the Lions suffered a heartbreaking 28-24 loss to the Green Bay Packers. In 1994, the Lions went 9-7, clinching a playoff berth for the third time in four years. However, they would 
once again suffer another heartbreaking loss to the Packers in wild card round, this time by a score of 16-12. to In 1995, the Lions started the season 0-3. However, they would recover to finish 10-6. and They actually had an opportunity to win the division if the Pittsburgh Steelers defeated the Packers in the final game of the season. It is not meant to be as the Packers won 24-19 as a result. The Lions went on the road to face the Philadelphia Eagles. In the wild card round, the Eagles embarrassed the Lions by a score of 58-37. to In the following season, the Lions regressed with a 5-11 and record to finish last in the division. After the season, Wayne Fontes was fired as head coach. He would be succeeded by Bobby Ross. The 1997 season saw the Lions go 9-7 and to clinch a playoff berth. During the season, Sanders ran for 2,503 yards. 2,053 rushing yards, sorry about that, becoming the third running back to join the 2,000-yard club. In the wild card round, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeated the Lions 20-10. to In the 1998 season, the Lions finished fourth in the NFC, NFC Central with a disappointing 5-11 and record. Following the season, Barry Sanders would announce his retirement. And that's, as they say, it for this episode. Um... If you're looking for other episodes like this one, please go on the YouTube channel at Stephen Jarvis and Friends Podcast, where you will find most of our podcast episodes that we've done lately. But also, you can listen to this on our website at Stephen Jarvis and Friends Podcast.com. Or you can listen to this on Spotify or anywhere else where you listen to podcasts. Also, like I said before, if you could, Please, if you haven't yet, subscribe, like, comment, um, and tell people about us. We love all the support and even some of the criticism or critiques of our work. We want to be able to show all our fans that we're doing the best we can to give them great quality content. And if you're looking for other great quality content, also listen to some of my buddies at FLET movies and pop culture review 13 you can also listen to my two buddies mark benset jr and brian at talking the talking show or you can listen to other people that i really really truly consider family and that's the deluxe edition network.com where you'll find all sorts of podcasts with a bunch of great content creators that you know what we feel like we are a family also, if you wouldn't mind, please give a rate and review on this episode and on the podcast if you're on Spotify or anything. And if you want to critique us or have something that might help us in the long run, please comment. It really does help. Thank you so very much. And again, go check out the Deluxe Edition Network. Podcasts a month are Barrel Age Flicks. And also, History I'd Like to Blank. And like we said, I said before, if you're looking for a, an award show where you can actually pick the categories and choose what you want to vote for, go check out the Denny's. Thank you so very much. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you on Thursday. And this will be our 90th episode. So hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you so very much. And I'll talk to you all next time. This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. <laughs>